Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then, every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events. Shalom. Start open your holy, holy Bible. Today our discussion will totally based on John chapter 3 verse 16. John chapter 3 verse 16. And once again, it is my pleasure. It is an honor. It is a privilege, I must confess, to have this great man of God from Israel United in Christ. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I humbly introduce them to you. The King Abaya is in the house. The King Malachi, the one born from the Holy Bible, Malachi. But I don't know the chapter that you have attached to his name. And the captain himself, Captain Isaac, also from the Bible. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to Fox 37.9 FM. Shalom, Shalom. thank Shalom. you for having us. Wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Yes. That yeah. was a beautiful introduction, Absolutely. by the way. A lot of energy. Come on, Isaac. Energy. Yes, that was a great introduction. All praises to the Most High. Thank you for having us. Once amen, again. amen, amen. It's a privilege to have you once again, and yes. not 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 me alone. To our lovely listeners and our cheerful viewers oh, yes. all over the world. Oh, yes, 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 absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, before the introduction, you mentioned something. You were doing an advertisement for hair relaxation yes you know hair relaxation that's a big epidemic here in ghana also hair weaves we see a lot of the sisters beautiful sisters by the way walking around with hair hat the hair of raccoon on their hair because that's where it comes from also bleaching is a big epidemic pandemic here in ghana and it's all a result of john 3 16 and the fake image uh -oh. of Jesus wow. Christ. Uh -oh. wow. The wow. fake uh -oh. image of Jesus Christ in the mind of our heads. Come on, Isaac. Come on, Isaac. Our sisters want to look Come like on, this. I, 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 I'm a creature of indulgence once again to repeat what he said. Yes. Slowly. Very slow. But, but I'm going to repeat it nice it and very important. slowly. It is very important. Sisters, stop mm. bleaching. Brothers, stop bleaching. You look crazy. Sisters, stop trying to wear the white woman's hair on your head. When the Bible says Jesus Christ and God has woolly hair. That's in the Bible. I'm going to read the book of Ezekiel real quick right before we get into John 3.16. Mm -hmm. This is going to back us up. This is how God designed us to be. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 10. Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. I clothe thee also with broidered work. Broidered work. That is expensive clothing. Go ahead. And shod thee with badger skin. Come on. And I gird thee about with fine linen. Mm -hmm. And I covered thee with silk. Mm -hmm. I decked thee also with ornaments. Uh -huh. And I put bracelets upon thine hands. This is royalty we're reading here, brothers and sisters. Royalty. Royalty. Us, black people, because the Bible's a black man's book. Come on. And a chain on thy neck. Now you want to know why we love jewelry so much. God said he put a chain on our neck of real gold. Real gold. Come on. I put a jewel on thy forehead uh -huh. and earrings in thine ears. Read. And a beautiful crown upon thine head. Read. Thus was thou decked with gold and silver. Uh -huh. And thy raiment was fine linen mm -hmm. and silk embroidered work. Thou didst eat fine flour and honey and oil, mm -hmm. and thou was exceeding beautiful. God says we was exceeding beautiful. The last time we was on the show, the deacons brought out how the prophets were black. Christ is black. 
God is black. And all of them had woolly hair. Not straight hair. Right. They weren't trying to run around relaxing their hair, trying to look like the white woman, trying to look like Sally and Karen. Hell no. That's not in the Bible. God said we were exceeding beautiful. Black is beautiful. Stop bleaching your damn skin. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And Come thou on. didst prosper in a, into a kingdom. And we made up a kingdom, a kingdom of priests and kings. Come on. But thy renown. Our renown. That word is reputation. Reputation. There's a saying in America. Everybody want to be a nigga, but nobody want to be a nigga. All the nations. You even have white women now. Who are, what are they doing? They're trying to grow their butts, right? They're sitting in the sun trying to skin tan. They're going to get their lips big now. Those little, uh, how they call those, Bo what is it, Botox? Those injections in the lip. Trying to look like you. Meanwhile, you're trying to look like them. The mm -hmm. whole world is upside down. That's right. But God has sent his prophets to turn it right side up. That's right. God says, and thy renown, your reputation, come on. Went forth from among the heathen uh -huh. for thy beauty. For thy what? For thy beauty. God says black is beautiful. So what the hell is wrong with the people of Ghana? What the hell is wrong with the, the blacks in America, the blacks in Jamaica? You know, last time we went to Jamaica to teach, it was a hundred degrees outside. Oh. There were brothers walking around with winter coats on because they didn't want the sun to make them darker. You know why? Because they all were using that damn bleaching cream. Just like here in Ghana, it's no different. Wherever the children of Israel are, we have low self-esteem because of the image of the beast, this devil right here. Go ahead. Come on. For it was perfect through my comeliness. God says he made us perfect through his comeliness. Through his vision of beauty. God said he made us perfect. Go ahead. Which I had put upon thee. So who made us black and beautiful? Who designed the width of our nose? The width of our lips? The melanin in our skin? The texture of our hair? That nappy, kinky, and woolly hair? That's right. God says... Which I had put on you. So who put that woolly hair on the heads of the so-called Negro? God put the woolly hair on you. Why? Because God has woolly hair in Daniel, the seventh chapter, the ninth verse. And he also gave that woolly hair to his son in Revelation chapter one, verse 14. He also, guess what? He designed Adam. He made Adam black. That's right. Genesis two, verse seven. Stop bleaching. Stop bleaching. Go ahead. Come on. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord God. Okay, I'm done. Go ahead, Deacon. John 3, 16. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want, you want to cover it, Deacon? Or you want me no, to go touch ahead. it? Go ahead. Touch hey, it. we're going to touch on this topic, this world-famous topic that everybody runs to in the Bible. John chapter 3 and verse 16. A lot of you all quote this like it's, like it's the only thing that's in the Bible. What you're going to find out, our people don't understand it. John chapter 3 and verse 16. This is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Come on. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So here we read this and say, see, God loved the whole world. I got a question for, for, for the listeners out there today. When did God ever love the whole world? When did God ever love the whole world? Watch this. Give me real quick. What is that in uh, Deuteronomy? We pulled it yesterday. Deuteronomy. We're going to find out the history. The Lord only put his love on the children of Israel. Get Deuteronomy 7 first well, yes, before sir. we get this one. Deuteronomy. Chapter 7 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. come, on, come on, Isaac. Before we mm -hmm. get to uh, the Deuteronomy, there is a saying trend all over the world. That we are now in the 21st century, whereby the Old Testaments and the old things are gone. Uh oh. That is why right now you can see most of the women are now wearing somebody's hair. Mm -hmm. They call it the wick, and they've given it a lot of names, cost a lot of dollars and cities in Ghana. Yes. Right now, their eyelashes, they have artificial. Even I, they have something called the contact lens, mm -hmm. artificial. To look white. Right now, they are nose, as you're created by the image of God, who Christ is a black. Right now, they, mm. they, they've done surgery to make it like a white. Like the white, like the Our brilliant. lips, lips, mm. they've changed it. Mm. Right now, people are using chemicals to cream their beer so that they can grow beer. Mm. Artificial beer. 
Yes. Breast down in mm-hmm. Africa, gone all over the world. Mm-hmm. Artificia. Ad- artificial. The boobs, artificial the bots, the bots, artificia. Yes. I, I don't know whether even the private part are now doing artificia. Mm. Yes. I mean, they say they call it, we are in the 21st century. Because mm. they follow following uh, Bruni. Is that true? Is Ab- that true? Yes. Yes. Go ahead, D. Hey, give me Proverbs 331. Mm-hmm. Proverbs 331. This is why this is happening. That's right. I'm going to show you in the Bible. Proverbs chapter 3. So if you, are, if you are living and you have all this natural stature, natural ability, they call you, you are Old Testament. Mm. You are old fashioned. Mm-hmm. You don't know what saves the time. Mm. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Read. Envy thou not the oppressor. God says you should not envy. You should not be jealous of. You should not want to be like your oppressors. None of us should want to look like the white man who enslaved us. None of us should want to look like the Arab man who enslaved us. God made you perfect. We read that back in Ezekiel. Now, some of those who are saying, oh, that's Old Old Testament, Old Testament. Give me John chapter 5. I want John chapter 5 real quick and read verse 46. John chapter 5 verses 46. Mm-hmm. John chapter 5 verse 46. Read. For had he believed Moses. What's in, where's the Old Testament? Moses' writings. It said, for had you believed Moses, Jesus said, read. Mm-hmm. Ye would have believed me. You would have believed me, Christ said. Come on. For he wrote of me. He wrote of Christ. Read. But if you believe not his writings. If you don't believe the Old Testament, Old Testament, read. How shall ye believe my words? How are you going to believe Christ's words? I love How that. How shall ye believe if Christ? If you don't believe in the Old Testament. You don't believe in Christ. You won't no. believe his words. But wh- why is that nowadays most of even the so-called of men of God are saying we are in the era of the New Testament? Why are hey, some of them hey, are saying so? Give me, give mm-hmm. me, give me a Malachi. You know, you, know, you, know what's, you know what's going on? You know no. what happened today? Yeah. The church is thinking God changed. That's right. The church is thinking there is one God in the Old Testament. Mm-hmm. There is another God in the New Testament. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. God do not change. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you what the Bible says. God do not change. That's the problem we have here in Ghana. People are thinking God changed. God mm-hmm. don't change. You change. God don't change. The brother just, Captain Isaac read earlier, how God make us beautiful. But here come the black woman. Oh no, I don't like my kinky hair. But God look like you. The black man, I don't like my skin. I got a bleach. But God look like you. God look exactly like us. What's wrong with us? Why we hate ourselves? Who taught you to hate yourself? Hmm. The white men do. This is who taught you. Give me that. Give me that picture. This is who taught you in Ghana to hate yourself. The white men come here, destroy us as a people. We taught to hate ourselves. Read the scripture. This is Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. What is God said? I change not. What is God said? I change not. What is the black? God said, yes, God is black. What did he say? For I am the Lord. I change not. God said, I do not change. The same God that was back then is the same God today. Read. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. That's right. God said, I do not change. Christianity, you pastors telling you there's a God in the Old Testament. There's a God in the New Testament. That's not true. That's not true. Go ahead, right. go ahead. Now, hey, let's finish that in Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3, 31. Uh-huh. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. That means don't choose his nose, don't choose his ears, don't choose his lips, don't choose his hair, don't choose his skin color. What, what, what was it said in the, in, the, in the Holy Bible? It said, read that one more time. Proverbs 3, 31. Uh-huh. Envy thou not the oppressor read. and choose none of his ways. You are beautiful. Black is beautiful. Kinky, curly, nappy is beautiful. Dark is beautiful. <laughs> Choose none of his ways. So wow. let's get back. Let's get back to John three sixteen because I don't want us to go too far. That's right. That's give right. me, give me Deuteronomy twenty. Mm-hmm. Deuteronomy chapter twenty mm-hmm. verses and verse seventeen. Yes, verse sir. seventeen. Verses one seven. Mm-hmm. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty and let's start at sixteen. Because I read, we read earlier John three sixteen. For God so loved the world. Our people don't know the history. Show me where in history where God loved the whole world. Read. But of the cities of these people, mm-hmm. which the Lord thy God doth give thee. God gave certain cities. He gave the land of Canaan to the Israelites. You Ghanaians, he gave you the land. 
Read. For an inheritance, uh -huh. thou shalt save alive nothing it that said, breatheth. Wait, it says you should save alive no one, nothing that breathes? You telling me God told the told the Israelites to go in the land of Canaan and kill everyone? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world. I thought God loved everybody. What about these people in the land of Canaan? Wow. What's happened is you don't know what world it was that God loved. He loved the world of Israel. We're going to prove it. Read on. But thou shalt utterly destroy them, mm. namely the Hittites Come on. and the Amorites, Come on. the Canaanites Come on. and the Perizzites. That's a lot of people God said to kill. But God loved the world? No, read. The Hivites and the Jebusites, uh -huh. as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee. Now watch this. We read John the third chapter, and all of a sudden we think for God so loved the world means everyone, inclusion of everyone. We're going to show you John chapter 3 verse 16 is a repeated verse that's from the Old Testament. You didn't know that Jesus Christ was quoting Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. Let's get that. Isaiah 45, when Christ spoke, he didn't speak his own words. He spoke from the scriptures. Come on. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. We challenge all you pastors, you ministers, open your Bibles up right now because many of you all did not know that this is in the Bible. All y'all did was take the white man's version of theology, the white man's breakdowns, the white man's understanding, and what you do, you fed it to your people when it was not correct. Read Isaiah 45 and 17. Watch this. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Wait a minute. Who's going to be saved? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Israel shall be saved. Come on. With an everlasting salvation. With that what? With an everlasting salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting salvation, everlasting life. Mm -hmm. It says what for Israel, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord uh -huh. with an everlasting salvation. Come on. He shall not be ashamed. Come on. Nor confounded. Read. World. What? World. What? World. Israel is a what? World. A world. Come on. Without end. Israel is the world that it's speaking of in John 3, 16. It was already quote. It was already written in the Old Testament. Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation. That is the world that is talking about. Is there more? Oh, no, sir. Go back to John 3, 16. This is the book of John, chapter, chapter 3, verse 16. Come on. For God so loved the world. So now we understand that John 3, 16 is a repeated scripture. The world that God was talking about is the world of Israel. Let's stay in the same book. John chapter 17 and tell me if this is conflicting tell me if this scripture goes against this scripture or your understanding is just flawed read John 17 and 9 watch John this. chapter 17, 17 verses 9 come yes, on sir I pray for them I pray for them Christ says I pray not for the world what I pray not for the world Jesus says he don't pray for the whole world wait a minute I thought God loved the whole world you have to understand the context of whom he is speaking to. God loved the world of Israel. Give me Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. He says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them whom thou has given me. Those that was given to Christ is who? The children of Israel. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. This is who God put his love on. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 Read. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people He chose you Ghanaians, you Israelites to be a special people Come on Unto himself Unto himself Read Above all people Wait a minute Remember God is, God is righteous God is the judge No one goes against what God says God says there's a difference between people he says that his people are above all people upon the face of the earth come on above all people that are upon the face of the earth read the lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people 
for you were the fewest of all people. Uh -huh. But because the Lord loved you, Read. and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, uh -huh. hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand mm -hmm. and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen. So Israel is the, the people that God set his love upon. Nobody else. I'm going to show you an example that's probably going to shock you right now. A lot of you all do not know the temperament of Jesus Christ. If God loves everybody and he sent his son for everyone, read Matthew chapter 15 and start at verse 21. This is the book. I challenge all of you, open your Bibles right now. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 21. Come on. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidon. Read. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. This woman, was she an Israelite? No, this was a Kenyanite woman that was coming towards Christ, read. And cried unto him, Come, saying, uh -huh. Have mercy on me, O Lord. She said, Have mercy on me, Lord. Thou son of David, read. my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. She's asking for help from Jesus Christ. Come on. But he answered her not a word. He did not answer this Kenyanite woman, this heathen woman, read. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. Whoa, the disciples said, send this woman away. Come on. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read it again. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus Christ says he's only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We have been lied to, brothers and sisters. We have been told fallacies we've been taught doctrines of men jesus christ said he was only sent for the lost sheep of the house of israel can jesus christ tell a lie no no i'm, I'm yes sir yes sir there are a group of people who are saying we have geographical location of each country mm -hmm. yeah when you look onto the map or the atlas mm -hmm. israel have their their location there right and then most of the blacks Let's use Ghana as an example. Also, we are in the Western Sahara part of Africa. Okay. So how can you tell us that all blacks are descendants of Israel? Where is the map? Can somebody get a map, please? <laughs> Let's read it. Where is Israel? Israel is in Africa. Right. <laughs> Go. That's why I want to hit that. There, there is, is. A lot of people don't know. Listen. There they is. Say, Israel, they are white in, in color. That's not the real Jews. Right. Mm. There is no such a thing as the Middle East. Mm -hmm. That's a word the white men created to confuse you. Mm. Yes. Israel is in Africa, mm -hmm. just like Egypt is in Africa. The last time we was in Egypt in slavery, we walked from Egypt to Israel. Israel is in Africa. Don't let nobody fool you. Can somebody look at map? Yes. Get a map. <laughs> On the map, you have, you have what's called the Suez Canal, which started in 1859 and the construction finished in 1861. Mm. The Suez Canal is a art official sea that was created but before that that canal wasn't there you were able to walk from israel into egypt the so-called white man the the epitome of the devil that he is he created the suez canal which separates israel from egypt but israel is in northeast africa the same way egypt is in northeast africa right thank you very much that is the captain captain isaac himself we have dickin malachi and dickin abaya oh Brethren, it is good to be part of this, this discussion. If, if, if you're not listening to if you're not watching us, you are losing big time. Mm. Kindly call us on 020-744-2316. 020-744-2316. Or 0540-859255. 0540-859255. Nine two five five Israel United in Christ. We are located in Kumasa Shanta region, Kumasa Culture Center to be precise. In the West, where we can, we, we can, you can always meet us mostly every Saturdays. We are yeah. there. Yes. Come and understand the true teachings of Christ. I gotta make a quick correction. It was 1869, it was completed, not yeah, 1861. Yeah, 80, correct. Thank you very much, Captain. Our website is www.israelunite.org www.israelunite.org Facebook is IUIC Ghana IUIC Ghana That is our Facebook handle So you can contact us Brethren, we have just some few minutes to wrap up 
So I'll start with a Dick and Abaya, then we go to Common Isaac, then the man from the Bible, Dick and Malachi. That's right, that's right. <laughs> hey, all praise be to the Most High God. Thank you. We, uh, we definitely, there's there's so many more scriptures to go over concerning John 3, verse 16. John 3, verse but 16. But what we must understand, we just read in Matthew 15, 24, Christ says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Give me Acts 5 real quick. Mm -hmm. Acts the fifth chapter, just to, yes, right. just to sum it all up. Acts chapter five, verse twenty-nine to thirty-one. Come on. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, "We ought to obey God rather than men." Read on. The God of our fathers. The God of our fathers. Read. Raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Uh -huh. Him hath God exalted with the, with his right hand mm -hmm. to be a prince and a savior, uh -huh. for to give repentance to. Israel. To who? Repentance to Israel. To Israel. Only Israel. I know it's hard for you, you Ghanaians, to believe that you are so special that God would send his son for you and only you. But guess what? It's the truth. Believe that. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And forgiveness of sins. John 3.16, that world is talking about the world of Israel. God sent his son for Israel. All praises be to the most high God. Oh. Amen, amen, amen. And today, come on, Isaac. Yes, sir. Yes, we sir. We give us something we call the, the closing prayer. But once again, to our lovelessness, our lovely viewers, the discussion must continue. Yes. In your workplaces, in your markets, farms, in your lorries, buses, wherever you are going, those traveling, keep on discussing. Today, our major point is based on John chapter 3, verse 16. Yes. And if you have any difficulty to understand, or you, you need any explanation, kindly call us on 020 744 2316. 020 744 2316. Or 0540 85 9255. 0540 85 9255. Look at us. We are Israel United in Christ. And I love this name. Israel united in Christ. We are ready to take over the world. That's right. To prove to the black man that black man, you are truly created the image of the Almighty God. That's, That's right. right. But not the devil. That's right. The so-called white man. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Deceiving us. That's right. Let's shine our eyes. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Isaac. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Prayer. Um, brothers and sisters, uh, please do not let the so-called white man or or any of these other nations nor their agents call these uh, Christian patches, pastors in these churches fool you. When you read the words our and world and, and them, all these pronouns in the Bible is making reference to the Israelites. It, the Bible is for the Israelites, to the Israelites, by the Israelites. All right. Uh, you wanted me to end with a prayer or? Yes. Okay. Uh, dear Heavenly God, the Lord, the creator of heaven of earth and earth, all things seen and unseen. Heavenly Yahweh, Heavenly Father, we come to you. We ask that you seal this uh, radio show that came out, the wisdom that came out from the deacons. Seal your elect that are here in Ghana. Open their minds that they might repent, Heavenly Father. We ask that you please forgive them for, them, for their sins, Heavenly Father. Seal this word in their mind that they may apply thy laws, statutes, and commandments. Heavenly Father, we ask that you smite down our enemies, all the enemies of the other nations that come here to cause confusion with their religions, with their idolatry, Lord. We ask that you move them away from us swiftly and speedily, Heavenly Father. We also ask that you put a hedge around those who seek thee. Who seek thee early, Heavenly Father. You put a hedge around us to protect us from all manners of diseases and sickness, Heavenly Father. And gather up the children of Israel where you had scattered them, Heavenly Father. As we prepare for the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, we say, Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Deacon Abaya. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very you. much, the great captain himself, Captain Isaac. Thank you very much, the full soldier, the full the Masha. Dickin Malachi. God bless you and God bless all members. That's right. Those who are in and who are here to join us. We are the Israel United in Christ. Thank you very much and watch out. We'll be back. God bless all of you. God bless you. God bless you. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.